Kill Nothing But Time was written by Dr. Sumerian on the SCP Wiki. That's me. Literally wrote it yet or posted it yesterday. Wrote it close to a month ago, not quite a month ago. Uh, if you enjoy it, head on over to the SCP Wiki and take a look at it. The link will be at the top of the description. It is under a Creative Commons 3.0 share alike attribution license. I went through my checklist three times before hitting the button meant to send me across the cosmos. And everything seemed perfect. The SCPF Athens was the pinnacle of Foundation Engineering, a ceramic steel composite frame with built-in magnetic field generators to protect the occupants from errant debris and cosmic rays, a prototype cold fusion power plant capable of generating 2,000 megawatts of power, and three sublight engines that could produce up to 1G of accelerative force until you turn them off or the universe dies. And then came the crown jewel of human achievement the elastic jump drive, a mixture of magic and technology that could, with a modest investment of power, weave a temporary way through space-time and allow travel to anywhere in the observable universe. After a period of time, that depends on how much power you supply to the drive, it would pull you back to your original jump point. It allowed nothing to travel back with you that you didn't bring in the first place, and it left nothing behind nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, and kill nothing but time. Now we've done this test a dozen times already with insects, dogs, finally a chimpanzee, and they'd all acted a bit odd when they came back, but who wouldn't? Seeing what they'd seen. But this was our first time, sending a human across the void. Me and I alone could tell them what wonders I'd saw there. I pressed the button, and the control board lit up like a Christmas tree. A power spike. A big one. You know, I've had some time here to think about what brought me to this place in my life. The long nights, the short relationships that year with Diana. I was always so busy. Paperwork. Funding requests. Grants. Crossing the T's, dotting the I's, this was supposed to make up for all of that. A crowning achievement for a life unlived. Back to the power spike. My eyes, my hands, even my beating heart jump a thousand, thousand light years in an instant. But I, I remained. And now, I can't feel anything. No sensory input. No pain. Nothing but the void. Still, the ship carrying my skin should come back. Must. It must. It must come back. I don't even have the luxury of looking out into the universe while I wait here. I try to sing to myself, but I can't hear anything. And I try to remember how she smelled. But it's almost beyond my reach. I feel like I've been waiting quite a while. And now I'm thinking about the thing I've been dreading. The power spike. What if my body didn't survive the trip? I'll stay here. Alone. Thank you very much for listening. If you enjoyed it, again, go check out the link uh, and head on over to <laughs> patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including MC Cashmill, who has pledged at $50, and Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. I'm doing this in the wrong order, but that's fine. And then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. Not like this guy. And I'll see you all again on Thursday.